this is tutorial two in the Amiga assembler hardware programming tutorial series. Uh, in the previous part we wrote this little program that waits for the left mouse button and then exits. This is the s standard loop of all demos basically. You can exit at any condition, pressing spacebar or whatever. But this is standard. What, we're, what we want to do is to make this our main loop. Press Ctrl D to delete the line. And the test should be at the end of the main loop, so that we can do all sorts of nice things in our little demo. Our first demo will be to simply change a color on the screen. Uh, to do this, we wait for a certain raster position. The top raster position for this window is hex 2C. The bottom one is hex 1 to B. Um, that means that we are displaying 256 lines on the screen and we want to put um, the color change somewhere in the middle. To calculate this, press escape to go to the command line, press question mark to make any calculation. Whoa, it works every time. And to calculate the middle, we simply add 2C plus 1 to C because that's the end the stop position of the screen not the last line and divide by two that's hex ac that's the vertical position we where we want to change the color of the background to do this we compare that vertical position to the current position in the vpos register and if it's not equal to that, we go back to the weight raster one label. This is our first weight. Let's um, change the color at this line. We do this by moving a hex value into palette color zero, which is the blue dark blue background color the light blue color that you see on the screen is palette color one which is at this address we want to change the background now let's see what happens first of all i'm going to save this as tutorial two and we want to jump we've already assembled it so we want to jump obviously we didn't assemble it and that's what we get. Now, this takes some explaining. Normally, um, what should have happened is it would have reached this position, changed background color, and then the background color would have been white already, so it would continue to be white forever. And what we should see is a completely a screen with a completely white background color. What in fact is happening is we haven't turned off the operating system. So the operating system is um, uh, resetting the color to the workbench palette on each vertical blank every 50 times per second. So the default palette for ASM1 is set at the top of the raster and in the middle of the raster we set it again to this this white background color. Press left mouse button to exit. So, but what we want is um, a single white line. So what do we do then? Well, we copy this, press control B, step down, control C, move down, control V. I'm sorry, control F. Change that to weight raster 2, and we can either change this, add 1 to it, or we can change this to equals to repeat as long as it stays on that line, and when it leaves that line, 
it will have gone on to the next line, which is something I prefer. This is a standard uh, wait for raster position combo to wait loops. First you wait until a certain position, then you wait until you leave that position. This wastes one scan line of computing time. So if you do do stuff in your demo, then you will omit this second part. Here it's vital because we want to change the background color back. Again, control D to cut the line, paste it back, and paste it down here. And I'll have to guess the RGB value for this uh, for this uh, background color. I'm gonna guess it's um, something like one red, two green, six blue. This is out of 15 in hex. So let's see what happens. Well, pretty close. So uh, we have our little one scan line position here. Naturally, in your own demo, you would have, instead of the workbench having set its default palette, you would have set your default palette at the top of the frame. And you would easily be able to reset it back to uh, to to the original color. So obviously, I, obviously, I have too much green. So let's try that. Yeah, that's worked better. So in the next tutorial, we will move this line up and down.